Alrighty-ho, Stampers, Deb Valder, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here to help you with your Christmas card making. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card that's very simple using the Festive Flurries Bundle and um, this little stamp set right here called More Merry Messages. It's an older stamp set, but um, and you can't find it in the catalog, but it is still available. It was in last year's Holiday Mini Catalog, and it's my go-to um, stamp set for messages. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this is the card that we're going to make, and I'm going to just kind of keep it here by the side. The first thing that I did was I stamped my um, largest festive flurry uh, snowflake onto my cardstock, and then I took my two and a half inch circle punch and I punched out my circle. And you want to kind of just center this, but not get too close to the edge. So what I did was I centered it and I punched it out. And then what I did was um, I want to take and put a layer underneath here because when you open up this card, you do need um, a layer underneath it to put all of our um, to put all of our little embellishments on. So what I did was I took a five and a quarter by four inch piece of cardstock and I added four um, I added four little dimensionals. Now the thing is, is you're not going to take and put this down this way. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your card and you're going to take it and you're going to center it on the top side of your card, right over that circle we just punched. Okay? So we have it nice and neat on the inside, and on the outside, you've got your circle that's actually raised up now. Okay? Now we need to start the embellishments, and these are the ones that we're going to do. So the first thing I did for this circle right here was to punch um, a one inch circle out of the middle because I'm going to take and use the circle out of this one from I'm going to use this circle from the circle that's in here and you always want to punch your smaller circle first so this is a great little tip to know so I'm going to just take my I'm just going to take my one inch circle which is right here I'm going to take my one inch circle and I'm going to push it all the way in and I'm just going to punch a circle now I'm going to save that for this little piece right here okay all right, so that's my circle. I'm going to take this same piece of paper, and I'm going to take my one and three quarter inch circle punch, and I'm going to center that around my one inch circle. And the reason I want that centered is because I've got to hide that hole that's in the middle. So now I have this and this from my um, champagne glimmer paper. Okay, so I have that from my champagne glimmer paper. And now what I need to do is to stamp this little circle right here or this little snowflake right here. So I took that and I stamped it onto a scrap piece of um, white of vanilla cardstock and then I'm going to take my three quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to just punch out the middle and I'm going to use that middle for this piece right here. Now we're not going to get rid of this. This is going to we're going to be using this also. Do you see where this little tip comes in? This is how to save paper. I'm going to take this and I'm going to run it through my Big Shot and I'm going to cut out my snowflake. All right, so now I have the inside to this that I'm going to use for here and then I will have my snowflake right here, okay, which is where this came out from. Now let's start putting our, our card together because it's almost done. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to adhere this to your, your cardstock. Now this glimmer paper is very hard to stick with snail, so I'm going to need to take and use um, some of my Tombow glue, I call it green glue, and I'm just going to take and put a little bit on the outside here, okay, and just adhere it to the middle. So there's my, there's my circle, okay. The next thing I need to do is to add my snowflake. Now again, like I said, um, snail will not glue to this. It's like sandpaper. It just will not glue to this. So what I did was I put a few dimensionals on the back and I'm going to just lay this over the top. I'm going to center it and lay it over to the top. Okay, just like that. And then the next piece is going to be my, um, is going to be my, um, circle from the glimmer paper and what I want to do because now I have some dimension on that I'm going to take and I'm going to add um, two layers of pop dots because see how, how much layering there is inside there so I'm going to add two layers of pop dots and then just adhere that to the middle of it okay you see how all the little holes are getting covered up 
This is a great super saver, okay? Now again, I've got this right here, so I need to add to this um, another dimensional. So I'm just going to take a dimensional and add this to the back of here and add it onto my card right here, okay? So now I have all of my layers um, with my um, champagne glimmer paper, and now I just need to add my bow. So I'm just going to slide that through here. Tie my bow. It's very important to tie your bow straight up and down the first, the first pull, and then go from right to left. Pull it through. And we have our card. And then you just add your sentiment. On this one, I, like I said, I did it for more Merry Messages. And that's my card. I hope you enjoyed it. You take care and come back soon. Christmas card giving is coming up fast. Take care. <music>